Let's examine that one first. Ask yourself that question. Contemplate on it. Sit with yourself in silence. Honestly, who am I really? Dig deep into this. Examine who is this person that I call Zarathustra, I call Jane, I call Marit, I call Joe, I call John. Who is suffering? Who is this person? Examine that. Don't just hear it from this place and let it go from this ear. Dive into this because it's significant, it's important. That's why we're here. Don't just look for an easy way out. Dive into it, examine it. Something very valuable is here right now. We're facing something really life-changing. We got this opportunity right now presented to us. It's very unique. It's divine intervention that the God came and stopped the world and is forcing us to look inside. It can't be any more significant than what it is right now. Why not take advantage of it? Why not go for it? Because you can't really go out there and do a lot of things. You can't go travel. A lot of us can't go out there and work. Your businesses are shut down. A lot of people get getting government assistance or whatever. It's a little bit, but whatever it is, it is a perfect opportunity to go inside, to dig in and to root out the cause of your suffering because that's what is all boils down to. Why am I suffering? Why am I going through all these ups and downs? What can I do to free myself? I don't know, I need help. Can somebody help me? Zaratustra, can you help me? Yes, I can help you. But I can't do it for you. I can just point you out in the right direction because I've gone through it myself. But you have to do it. You have to look at yourself. And yes, it's a little bit scary because when you're looking at yourself, you also have to look at the shit that is in there. And most of us don't want to do it. We want to brush over it and jump into another thing. But it's worth it, my brothers and sisters. It's worth it. And I'm here with you. We're together. We're all together in it. You're not alone. And there is help here. Physical help. Physical beings. Many different beautiful teachers are out there, a lot of books, a lot of information. And there is the angelic realm, which is here. There is help. And we're all in it together. So why not go for it? Let's do it. Because we have nothing to lose. and everything to gain. Nothing to lose and everything to gain. Because if you succeed in this life, 
then you have eliminated suffering. And you will succeed. If you pay attention. Pay attention. Why is this pandemic happen? Why am I here? What is the teachings in this moment? What is it that I'm supposed to be learning? I'm paying attention. I'm not putting my attention that, oh, I really want to find my love of life and I really want to have two kids and I really want more money or I want to travel. Then your attention went somewhere else. Now you're looking for utter happiness you're looking for satisfaction from getting married or having kids or getting more money or traveling so you're missing the boat again i'm not saying those things are in the good they're not i'm just saying pay attention bring your attention here inwards because those things you're gonna get them and you're happy for a short period of time and then there's going to bring misery because you haven't done the work. You haven't found it inside yourself. So you want to run and get it from the outside. When I pay, pay attention, that's what I mean. Don't fall asleep. Oh, if I buy this other house or if I get more money and if I have my retirement set or if I blah, blah, blah. Everything's going to be fine. No, it doesn't work that way because it's not coming from the outside. It's coming from within yourself. You have to find it inside yourself, sweetheart. That's where it is. And I'm here to help you with it. If you want my help. And I don't have all the answers. And I don't know everything. And I make mistakes. And I have my flaws. <laughs> but I'll do the best I can. I can't promise anything. But I'll do the best I can. Just hang in there. Just be patient. Don't lose your patience. Be honest with yourself. Be quiet. And bring your attention to the observer, the one who's observing everything, not what you're observing. Don't get so gun ho about what is going on in the world, what is going on in your mind or your emotions. Kind of Bring your attention away. Disconnect from it. Very simple language. Disconnect from the world outside of yourself and bring your attention inwards. And I'm not saying you get focused on your feelings that, oh, what do I, why am I feeling this? Why am I feeling that? La, 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 blah, 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 because that's another addiction. You can get hung up on that one very easily. Bring your attention, go beyond the feelings, beyond the thoughts and hang out in the silence. Hang out in the silence. Hang out with the majesty.